Hey guys, real fast before this video starts, remember to like and subscribe to never miss another video. As you can see, we have a standard deck. And now, I would let the spectators, I'd like a spectator shuffle the deck, do an overhand shuffle, anything. Now, I'm going to go through these cards behind the camera, and I'm going to make a prediction. And I'm going to make a prediction. Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll do that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do one more. Ah, you know what? I'll do two more predictions just as a backup. Because, guys, I've only done this trick once before. And I messed up. So, yeah, I'm gonna make a few extra predictions just for backup. Okay, um. Now, here's what I'm going to do. You would tell a spectator, I want you to take these cards, put them behind your back, and behind your back, then they're going to go through the cards, pick out a random card, flip it face up on the deck, and then cut the deck. And now I'm going to have a spectator do that. There you go. So just go through and pick out a random one and flip it up on the top. Yeah, so go through, pick out a random card, Flip it over, put it on the top of the deck, then cut the deck. Mm. There. Okay. So you went through, took out a random card, flipped it over, put it on top, cut the deck, mm -hmm. behind your back. So you don't know where your card is, and I don't know what it is. Now I'm going to go through here, see which card you chose. Let's see here. Your card was the two of hearts. I'm just going to set this down for now. So we have two of hearts. And you know what, guys? It was probably actually good that I made three predictions to finish the set. Do, 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 do. Now, let's get into the tutorial. Hey guys, here's the tutorial for the trick I just showed you. Remember to like and subscribe to never miss another video also. Okay, so what you're going to do is this is a completely impromptu trick. Um, deck can be shuffled. Doesn't matter. Okay, you know what? I'm not... The card doesn't want to shuffle today. Okay, but um, you can have a spectator shuffle anything. Um, the deck is in no setup at all. And what you're going to do is you're going to behind your back. Then you're, well, not behind your back. You're just going to, like, hold it up here to your chest like this. You're just going to hold it up to your chest like this so they can't see. And um, when you're holding it up against your chest, here's what you're going to be doing. You're going to find the fourth card... And then take out the rest of um, the set for that card. So in this case, it's the jack. So I'm go going to go through, take out all the jack, take out the first jack and be like, you know what, I'm going to make a second prediction because I've only done this trick once before and it messed up. That's good because you need three predictions anyway to finish the set. And it sets low expectations. So they're like, oh, he's not the best magician because he's only done it one before and he messed up and that sets low expectations and then at the end they're like whoa and so and then what you're going to do is we're going to take the fourth card the one that's the rest of the set for the three you're going to flip it over i like to do this by so you're spreading through the deck and you find it and keep the deck spread out then you're going to ask a question that diverts their attention away from the cards. And so you can say, 
are you right-handed or left-handed? And then, like, say you need to take these in that hand or just say, like, just ask them a question. So let's say I would ask, are you right-handed or left-handed? While I'm doing that, I'm going to square up the deck and flip over their card while I'm doing that. So it's going to be like this. So you're going to divert their attention. And usually if you ask them a, someone a question, they will look at your face. They will not stay focused on the cards. So you can just go like this. Are you right-handed or left-handed? They'll be answering. You just go like that as you square up the deck. And so now that's going to be face down. And then the three predictions are the rest of the set for the fourth card, the face down one. Then you're going to say, okay, now I want you to put these behind your back, pick out a random card, flip it over, put it on top, and cut the deck. And you can be demonstrating this while you're saying it if you want to. And then just, yeah. And so they're going to do this, and they don't know what their card is. And you don't either, but that doesn't matter. Because no matter which card they choose, it's going on top, right? And then when they cut the deck, then look. There's, not, there's going to be two face-up cards because the one that you flipped over and then the one that they flipped over. And yours will always be three cards in front because it was the fourth card from the bottom. And so they don't know that, but secretly... Your card is always going to come up before their card just because they cut the deck. And so they'll do that. Um, and so they will... One sec. So they will... Wait, one sec. I didn't... Okay, so at this point, it's going to look like this. They're going to go through. And this is behind their back, so they don't know what their card is. That's very important. If they knew what their card is, and then you show them that card, they're going to be like, wait, what? And then they're going to cut the deck. So now it's looking like this, but they don't know. And so you're going to spread through the um, deck, and no matter what, just because they cut the deck, your card is always going to come up first. Now it's important that you don't see your card and then accidentally keep going, because then you're going to end up with their card too. So you're just going to stop at yours and be like, okay, that's the card that you flipped over. you are going to say, it's actually probably good that I made three predictions to finish the set. And they're just going to be mind blown. You just need to make sure they do not see that there's another card flipped over in the deck. Because that will completely ruin the trick. Um, so guys, thank you for watching. Um, that is the tutorial for this trick. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to never miss another video.